Hello everybody, welcome to Simple IT's YouTube series, No Limits. So today we are continuing with our digital payment series. And um, last week we show um, how one of our seniors, uh, Madam Aling, uh, she used her mobile phone to make payment using Kela. And the episode before that, um, we talk about like the basics of um, digital payment and the week, week before we talk about the background of um, digital payment what are some of the theories. So this week uh, is the last video for digital payment. We will talk about how you can set up a uh, PayLa. So if the last uh, video you saw um, how Madam Aling made payment with PayLa and you really um, like it, so um, you can follow through the steps in this video and uh, proceed to download and um, make use of it to make payment. Okay, so let's go. Yep, so maybe before we, I show you guys how to um, download and do the setup, maybe first let me go through again, um, like do a recap, what does, uh, what can PayLa do? So PayLa is like a digital wallet, meaning you don't need to make payment with a physical, with physical cash in a physical wallet, you can just use your handphone with a PayLa app in your handphone to make the payment. So um, you can scan and um, do a PayLa payment. You can request payment from your friends, like if you go uh, and have lunch with your friends and then you want to split the bill, right? You pay for the bill, you pay for the meal first, you want to ask your friends to pay you, you can request payment using PayLa. Uh, or maybe your friend pay first, you want to pay him back the lunch money, right? You can use PayLa also to send him the payment. And also uh, with all this payment, right, you can either um, deposit the money in PayLa itself, meaning like in the uh, digital wallet or you can do a direct debit that means direct uh, uh, deduct money from uh, your bank account that's possible too so uh, how to set up PayLar actually there's only three simple steps very simple uh, the first step be is uh, you need to install or you need to download the app from your Play Store or App Store and then the second step is you need to register uh, in the app itself and then the last step is just to use okay so um, let's start so now I'm going to demonstrate how you can download PayLar um, so if you are using Apple phone your iPhone uh, go and find your Apple Store, Apple App Store. If you're using Android phone, uh, go and find your Google Play Store. So I'm using an Android phone right now. So this is my Play Store. I'll click on this icon. Okay. And then here, uh, I'll come into my Play Store. And then on the top, on the top of it, uh, is a search bar. So here I type PayLa to search for it. So it's P-A-Y-L-A-H. And then I go ahead and search and then uh, it will display PayLa and then I just click on the green button install and you will uh, proceed to install and after it's installed you will see on your uh, desktop of your phone so step two after you have installed you need to register so I go ahead and click on the DBS PayLa icon here the app you open up Okay, and then for first time user, click register. So here there are uh, three options here. In fact, there's four. I'll show you the fourth one later. So the first one is if you're already using DBS or POSB uh, Digibank, meaning you already have an online banking with uh, DBS or POSB, then you can click on the first option. If you are not a DBS or POSB uh you don't have a bank account with POSB or DBS, then click on this uh, second option uh, to register via SingPass. Um, this one, the third one is if you are applying for your very young children below 18 years old, then you click on that. And the next option here is if you are a DBS or POSB account user, but you don't have an online banking, then uh, click here so that you can apply for online banking first then you can use PayLa. Okay, so for each of the options, uh, just go ahead and click them and follow the steps through. Okay, so let's say you, if you already have uh, registered uh, them, then you can use PayLa. And if you have any problem uh, registering, can contact, you can walk into the 
a bank, the branch, and uh, seek for help. Here, say you uh, you already register for a Digibank uh, online account with a DBS or POSB, then click on the first option. And then uh, click on your Digibank uh, login and PIN. And then uh, you will be you will receive a OTP, 6 digit 8 OTP. Key in your OTP. And then uh, they will ask you to key in a password for Payla. So go ahead and do that. So if you want to um, enable the biometric, meaning you want to let Payla to be able to to be able to log into Pila using your maybe like fingerprint or your eyes or your facial recognition, then go ahead and turn that on. Okay, and then I'll click on login. So now we are in Pila already uh, successfully logged in. Okay, now step three with the Pila setup, uh, you can start to make payment so right now I look at my wallet my wallet does not have any money so I'll go and click manage so uh, I have some options here I can do a top up I can transfer the money from the wallet to uh, my bank account I can manage my wallet meaning I can set the uh, amount uh, spent per day and so on and manage my card so right now on top up my wallet I'll just click here top up and I can choose uh, my amount say I want to top up $10 okay and here if I want to enable the auto debit I can do so by uh, clicking on the little arrow little um, area there if not I just click submit and there you go my wallet has $10 and I can uh, start to use the $10 in my wallet to pay for my stuff if you want to make payment at the Hawker Center, what you need to do is click on this uh, scan icon. Okay, and then they will give you some description. Click try and then click allow. So you can just quickly do a scan and then uh, verify uh, the shop name. Amount can key how much you want to pay the person and then and then click next and then once you click next go, let's go uh, it's going to send the money to the vendor so you I've uh, done a payment to Peter Fry Kui Tiao yeah. so I'll go through some of the other features that's uh, in the app so at the bottom here uh, we have uh, history so if I click on history it will show me the transaction history that I have done so you see fried, uh, Peter Fried Chak Kui Tiao uh, I've paid and um, so on if I'm back at home here um, I can pay my friends uh, with this option here called pay so I can send money to other PayLa user my friends and all so I just need to key the amount And then uh, pay to who and uh, and then next I can click on this um, request to request for money from my friends if they owe me. Okay, so here request money. I can type in the amount and then they will get the notification. My QR. So if I tap on this my QR, people can scan uh, the QR on my phone to pay me. Okay, so they will show you your PILA QR. You can send to your friends or let them scan directly by, uh, through your phone. And there's also a lot of uh, good uh, features here and discount if you click on all these uh, shops. And a lot of other features here. So if you're interested, you can explore. So we have covered all the steps on how to use uh, download and use PILA. So step one is to install or to download the app. Step two is to register in the app. And step three is to use it. Um, with that, we have covered all the uh, digital payment um, videos and hope you like the video. If you like the video, please uh, give us a like. 
And if you want to see more of our um, other videos, and maybe we'll make some of uh, some of the digital payment video as well. So if you'd like to uh, be notified, uh, do click the subscribe button in YouTube. Yeah. So if you'd like to um, be notified of uh, our mobile phone classes, our uh, IT courses, you can join the group chat uh, by uh, giving us a text at 8748-8263. And we'll add you in the WhatsApp group chat and uh, notify you of uh, any uh, new videos and also uh, upcoming news of our classes. Okay, with that, take care.